Okay, so we've uh, just got done fucking shit up in the gym. Yes, I am recording after my workout. Today I trained deadlift and back, a little bit of biceps and a little bit of rear delts. I feel incredibly run down, very run down indeed, very tired, very lethargic. I think I've got something again. What are you doing? This is one cursed place to drive. A few weeks ago I had cold or flu-like symptoms. I don't know whether it was a cold or the flu, but regardless, it felt like shit. A week later, I had the neurovirus. I was on the toilet pretty much every few hours, which in comparison to the cold or flu that I had was rough in its own way. I guess where I haven't given myself enough rest between working out, going to work, I am just run down. There is a slight chance I have COVID. I work in hospitals. I drive ambulances and I deal with many different types of patients that have come off of many different types of wards. COVID is all over the hospitals at the minute. I have also been in contact with people who have had COVID, both patients and work colleagues. So there is a chance I've got the old triple whammy, the cold or flu, the neurovirus, and then COVID. Today was not a strong day. I worked up to 260 kilos. I was supposed to work up to 270 kilos for a cluster set of one and one, which means I do one rep, wait 10 to 20 seconds, and then do another. But I just didn't have it in me. So what I did was 260 kilos for a single, and then drop down to 210 kilos for a few sets of five. I think next week, what's supposed to be the fourth week of my program, I'll uh, change to the fifth week, which is a deload. I'm going to give my body a little bit of rest from the heavy ass weights, just so I can recover a bit from whatever is uh, whatever's going on inside. I'm going to focus on nutrition, so I'm going to be eating a lot of whole foods, a lot of fruits, vegetables, and uh, meats, lean meats, chicken, turkey, beef. That way, whilst my body is fighting off whatever is going on inside, it has optimal amount of resources to defend my presently frail frame. Anyway, enough of the chitter chatter. I did deadlifts, wide grip pull downs, cable rows, some rear delt raises, hammer curls, and finished up with some upright rows. The workout was fairly good to be fair, for how I feel anyway. The gym that I am training at is a different gym in a different town from where I live. It's more of a bodybuilding slash powerlifting gym rather than the usual environment which is at Pure Gym a commercial gym with bog standard equipment. Pure Gym, the commercial gym I usually train at, is a very generic gym. It's a one size fits all kind of gym. I do have very good workouts at Pure Gym. I'm not knocking it in any way, shape or form. I just wish commercial gyms would uh, branch out a little bit and tailor to other types of training like bodybuilding and powerlifting, or in my case, power building, which is the best of both worlds. I want to emphasize that. I think here and there I'm going to venture out of my comfort zone and train at different gyms. There's one around the corner from Pure Gym, which is called Hell's House. That's another bodybuilding slash powerlifting gym. There's one which is a hour's drive away in Maidstone, which is purely a powerlifting and strength training gym. That would be quite interesting. And then just a bit further than that is another gym, which is a bodybuilding, powerlifting and strongman gym. I also have a cool idea about collecting different t-shirts of different gyms. Kind of like when people go abroad and they collect souvenirs that they can show off to their friends and family. I'll turn up to birthdays and other types of special occasions in my different t-shirts that I've acquired from different gyms. And I have a story to tell to them, and maybe even my grandkids. 
Anyway, as usual, my mind is drifting off into a million places at once. Let's get straight to the workout. Again, as of... Excuse me. As I've said today, deadlifts were far from good. I felt tired, weak, and very run down. Each rep was far from as strong as I wanted them to be. But sometimes that's just how it is. You've just got to make the most of what you can do and try your best. Hopefully in a week or two, I'll be free of illness and back to pulling strong. Until then, it is what it is. I'm going to let the rest of the deadlift session play out and I'll uh, be back with you at the next exercise. Okay, so after deadlifts, I did some wide grip pull downs. I did 80 kilos for three sets of 10 using the Strength Shop wide grip handle. There's something about the Strength Shop wide grip handle that hits different. I can feel every muscle that I'm trying to hit work as it should. The squeeze is phenomenal. And as I usually say, every rep felt optimal. Moving on to some cable rows, I did 60 kilos or 3 sets of 10 using the Strength Shop narrow grip handle. The Strength Shop handles are fantastic. I don't feel like my arms are taking the load as much as I feel them taking when using normal cable handles without straps. The synergy of doing cable pull downs and cable rows together make for a solid back workout. The variation of a horizontal and vertical movement plays really well together. So I think doing cable pull downs and cable rows together is a very balanced approach to your back workout routine. Moving on to some rear delt raises, I did 12.5 kilos for 3 sets of 12. I do most of my dumbbell exercises either seated or laying on a bench. I do so to isolate the muscle I want to target, in this case it's the rear delts, and make the most out of whatever exercise I'm doing, in this case rear delt raises. I think dumbbell exercises are very important so you can develop unilaterally rather than just bilaterally as well. Unilateral meaning involving one limb, where else bilateral meaning both limbs or more than one limb. Moving on, some hammer curls. I did 20 kilos for three sets of 12. Before I end this video, I want to go over my upload schedule. I plan on uploading either every other day or every two days, just so I can balance being around my family, going to work, and catching up with anything outside of that. I wish I could upload every day, but editing takes quite a bit of time, time that I don't always have, which frustrates me because this is something I'm very passionate about. I hope that one day in the future I can make this a full-time thing, meaning uploads every day but until then it is what it is i just got to go with the flow and maintain a level of balance in my life 
onto the much controversial Upright Row. Now, I say controversial because people always slate it for causing injury. However, personally, I have never had that issue. If anything, this exercise is fantastic for the side delts and traps. Since I have started doing this exercise, my side delts and traps have really started to pop out. So personally, I will continue doing this exercise because I have had no issue with it. Anyway, I did 25 kilos for three sets of 12. Just before I end this video, I just wanted to show you guys what's on the menu for today's post-workout. We have ricotoni pasta with lean beef mince, a tomato and cheese sauce. The beef has been seasoned with salt and pepper. The meal as a whole has been seasoned with paprika, garlic, onion and a little bit of turmeric. That is an example of the sort of meal I have at the end of a workout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Leave any suggestions that you have or questions that you have in the comments section below. And uh, I'll be with you next time.